Our scripture passage this morning comes from the 148th Psalm. Let's listen for God's word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commands and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy winds fulfilling his commands. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up the horn for his people. Praise for all his faithful, for all the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. You almost wanted to say praise be to God because I said that so many times, didn't you? Let's, let us please pray. God of promise, your word made flesh in Jesus Christ is trustworthy and true. By the power of your Holy Spirit, may it rise up in us this day like a gift from the spring of water of life to refresh our thirsty souls. Amen. So I guess we will start off with the obvious question, what does it mean to praise God? God. Pastor Liz gave us some ideas, and even when we have joy in our name, we can look for ways to praise God. The psalmist here covers the gambit of who and what praises God in the passage. From the angels to the elements, sea monsters and cedars, men, women, mountains, and even creepy things, they are all enfolded in praise to God. And the question is, what does praise look like to you? How could praise, gratitude, and acknowledgement to God look differently from each and for each and every individual creation? Whether it be from the highest heavens down to those roly-poly creepy bugs that kind of freak me out but I have to admit that they are genuinely important as a part of God's creation, no matter how creepy they may be. There is space for all of us and ways for every part of creation to lift up and share the good that is found in life. Now, I don't consider myself a naturally optimistic person, Instead, I am rather a naturally forgetful person. So while some people may see the glass as half empty and others may say it's half full, I am more likely to forget where I put the glass down altogether. So this passage serves as a natural reminder, or at least for me and hopefully for you, of what we have to do to be grateful in the moment and what has to come to create that moment. Because praise, I believe, requires noticing both what has occurred in the past as, long as, as well as what's going on in the future. And the example that stands out to particularly today is in the form of music. Now next Sunday, or after next Sunday, our choir will go on break for the summer, and it would be easy for us to fall back into our natural habits of the church, our routine of 
what's normal. But I think, rather, we should take a moment to reflect on the impact that, that music has had on our experience of worship and praise for the past two years. From suddenly going to having no choir and a rather silent sanctuary, to having to learn how to be creative doing virtual choirs, at one point there was a cat playing the piano, to having small groups in the sanctuary lifting up voices as soloists or groups, and then even having to sing in masks, to where we are today. For many, music, melodies in our hearts, and being able to sing songs, either individually or together, is one of our deepest forms of praise. And its absence was deeply felt. So this Sunday, Webb and I, Dr. Webb, pardon me, we decided to bump up the music to shorten the sermon, and this Sunday we are going to give thanks for the presence of music, because I really want to make sure that you all shine today. May we never take it for granted again. May we use it. May we share it and appreciate it in our worship and in our daily lives. So often, we fail to appreciate the gifts of life until we find ourselves without them, especially when they are as close to us as the air we breathe. Here the psalmist reminds us that life is praise, that the human encounter with creation is an act of praise, and when we come at it with zeal and energy to join the chorus of praise to the creator and redeemer, along with all the heaven and the earth and everything created together, then no one is lifted higher than the other. In our own lives, our voices, the musics we make, the stories we share, and the experiences we live become praise to God. In response to this passage, theologian, theologian Marcia Glass reflects that in considering ourselves along with all that's mentioned in the psalm, it is a reminder that within the kaleidoscope of all creation, we matter, we are not all that matters. We matter to God, and our praise matters, but we are not the only ones who matter, and our praise is not the only kind. Because if the church is about anything, it is about the abundant, all-inclusive love of God. And there is space in that love for fire and for frost, for sultans and for slugs. So we have to give up any sense of hierarchy or desire to designate who is in and who is out of that kingdom. For as the song goes, all God's creatures have a place in the choir. Jesus had loved us so that we may love one another. Let us focus on that praise and the blessings for what we have, for the gift of music, Praise for the creator who values you and who values me and who values the person sitting next to you or the person worshiping with us at home, who gives music and laughter and love for how we encounter the awesome, powerful, and sometimes overwhelming big energy of God's creation is simply to exist within it. Now to the one who by the power at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than we can ask or even imagine. To God be the glory in the church and in Jesus Christ for all generations forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> 